Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you uh, uh, how to create uh, this candle. Uh, we will go through a lot of techniques like making light go through an object, and doing some compositing to make this glow, and uh, some basic sculpting and modeling. So this is part one, we're going to go through uh, the modeling. We're gonna model. We're gonna set up this scene, and in part two, we're gonna add the lights and uh, do the animation and the compositing. So let's start. Press Control in to to create a new scene. Press OK. Delete the default cube. Shift A. Add a side mirror. Scale it. Dump it one. Five to go to auto mirror. Um, scale it a little bit on the Z axis. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab, control R to add some edge loop and use uh, the mouse wheel to, 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 to determine the number of cuts. Uh, you have to make them something like this. So when we are go, we will uh, make some sculpting and there will be a lot of details. Press this middle point and press, 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 control, press, scale it down a little bit. E to extrude, Z to, on the Z axis, scale, E to extrude, scale it, E to extrude on the Z, scale it down and scale it in. And now E to extrude. Right click to leave it and scale into extrude. Right click to leave it and scale. Now Alt and press this S so you select all this rope. Um, move it on the Z axis so you get something smooth. Select this one. Press Control E. Edge slide. Slide it down and move it up a little bit. Now, go to the button, click this middle one, control plus, and uh, scale it in a little bit, then E to extrude, right click to leave it, next, scale it down, E to extrude, scale it, E to extrude, scale it. Now, the basic shape of the candle is ready, go to Edit uh, to object mode, click on smooth, go to modifiers and add modifier, subdivision surface. Now it's great. Uh, go to the sculpt mode. Uh, F allows you to scale the brush and shift F to adjust the strength of it. Now make it sound like this. And for the strength, make it maximum. 0.7 maybe and just as start adding some creations to the, to the model just to, to get something realistic and cool and, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Now go back to object mode. Um, press numpad one and control point. So you center your view to the cursor. Control Alt zero and the camera will come where you are visioning on the object. Move it on the Z axis. Shift F. Go to fly mode and. G on the Z, Shift F, and move the mouse down. Yeah, cool. Uh, now delete this light. We're gonna fix the lights in the second part. Press numpad one, press five. Center your view. Shift A, add mesh curve B zero. Now go to wireframe mode by pressing Z. Select it. 
top right. Select this one, Shift S, selection to cursor. It will go to the center. Select this one and move it up. Actually, uh, as you can see, I'm gonna pick this. No. Go to modifiers, click on optimal display so we we'll see it clearly as a visual. Click on this one and press S to zero so it's gonna be vertical. Now okay, select all these, move it on the Z axis. Z so we see. Just um, start to add some rain into this. I rotate it, move it to the front view, rotate it, move it. That's nice. Um, now shift A add curve circle. Actually this circle is gonna define uh, the bevel of this one. We're gonna click on this one, go to mesh data, go to bevel object and click Bezier circle. Now if we scale this down it's gonna be scaled as well. Scale it down a little bit. Yeah, cool. Actually we have to zoom out. No, yeah, cool. Yes. Shift A. Now we're gonna add the plane. Add mesh microsphere. Uh, subdivision, make the subdivision to 2, select the isosphere, put it here, test cursor to selection, control, and so there's a control point, so uh, you center the view to it, press on 3, you go to side view, yes, uh, adjust this, this place, go to 1, yeah, cool, now, Scale it. Oh, no. Click on this one. Press O and G. Move it. And uh, adjust, uh, adjust uh, how it's going to be affecting the object by uh, the mouse wheel. So just make something like this. Now press A twice. So you select, you select the vertices and select them all. W. Subdivide. Cool. Now. Select this uh, one on the top, control plus a few times, and control C so you uh, assign it to a new group. Actually, I made this because we're gonna add some modifiers, add a subdivision modifier, and then add a displace modifier. Um, add a new texture, it's, by default, it's gonna be a cloud. Right, and for vertex group, it's going to define the vertex where that going to be a, um, influenced by uh, the um, the displacement. So now, as you can see, uh, this area is not um, displaced. Now go here, add or texture coordinates an object. For this object, we're going to add. Um, and empty G to move it. Cool. Click on this one and go here. Add empty. Scale the empty up so we get something like a flame when you move it. Cool. Save your scene by pressing Control S and OK. And uh, that's it for the part one of um, this tutorial. Uh, wait for the next one.